So when we're applying this pattern to the drum kit, it's probably a little bit unrealistic to expect to play the whole pattern uh, you know, on, on a drum kit. A, because you're not going to get the exact same sounds as you could get on the conga, and B, because you're playing continuous eighth notes in that pattern, so it's, you know, it's a lot of work for one limb to do, even if you were able to do it. So we're going to pick out what I consider to be the important notes, which are the slap tones and the open tones, the, the dominant notes in that pattern. And if we incorporated those onto the drum kit with the slaps as a cross stick and the open tones on the high tom and the low tom, depending on which conga we're hitting, the pattern could sound like this.